So we're getting pretty darn close with the complete disassembly of our 240Z engine and shortly we will have a video from start to finish showing on the steps on how to completely disassemble this. But until then, we're about to pull the pistons and the connecting rods and we need to remove the crankshaft sprocket. Now, if you're doing this for whatever the reason and you're having trouble removing this from the end of the crankshaft here, you do need a puller. Okay, that's just, that's the only way. You, you could probably slide in a screwdriver and start wiggling it out, but really the right way is with a puller. Now, if you don't have a puller, you could just rent one from your local auto parts store. Now, if you haven't seen a puller set, you could see something like this, a three-jaw puller set. This is really for light duty. Uh, Sears, local, your local auto parts store, Harbor Freight, they all have them. Really, I really don't use them that much because it's just so, it's very light duty. This is a far, far better set. This is what you will find most likely at your local auto parts store. Now, if you rent one of these, you'll see that there are a lot of attachments. Let me just give you a, a pan view here. A lot, a lot of different attachments. And, you, you know, it could be a little overwhelming in a sense. But essentially what we need, we need this little attachment right here. Because all we need in this case are really two claws, okay? So find the claws in the kit. And simply we just need to attach the claws to this little device. And the kit includes the screws and the bolts required. So we'll attach these claws to this mounting surface. And lastly, we'll need this guy right here, okay? This goes right in the center. And very simply, as you rotate this clockwise, it will slowly pull off that sprocket. So let's go ahead and quickly put this together. We'll jump back on the engine and uh, I'll show you on how to do this. So we grab our attachments here. Okay, we'll feed in one end of the first bolt here. Grab a nut, go ahead. Grab the second one. Really, really simple stuff. Um, you know, if, we, if you don't really plan on using a puller a lot, you're not pulling hubs and wheel bearings and things like that, you could just rent them. Uh, that complete set that I just showed you, that goes for around $90. So they're not inexpensive, but if you plan on using them quite a bit, they are terrific to have. Okay, we'll tighten that down a little bit. Okay, then lastly, okay, so this will go, right here will be the sprocket, grab this guy, okay, so this is ready to go, let's jump to the engine. Now before we use the tool here, just go ahead and reinstall the crankshaft bolt that held on the crankshaft pulley. In my case, I already packed everything away in a shed, all the parts uh, throughout the disassembly, so I'm just grabbing another bolt I found in the garage here. And then you take the tool and just place it, if you can, place it over the second set of the sprockets. In other words, don't put it here, just in case, because you don't, you don't want to nick anything. Okay, so try to get it behind this guy. And then, make sure it's all clamped on there. And as you can see, it's already moving out. Let me zoom out here so you can see this. Let me get a wrench. And here we go. And as you can see, it does this very, very easily. There's no effort in this whatsoever. So that's all it takes to remove a crankshaft sprocket. As you can see, very simple. Again, if you don't have a puller, rent one. They won't charge you anything. Put down a deposit, use the tool, bring it back, you get your money back. So it's very, very simple. And again, we will have a full disassembly uh, video probably within a week, I would say. Uh, if, you, if you're curious, just watch this channel, subscribe. And uh, until then, thank you for watching.